MP1522 to the Umarex Walther HK MP522. Alright. So Comparison of the Smith & Wesson MMP1522 to the Bushmaster C22. Comparison between the Smith & Wesson MMP1522 to the Colt M422. From GNA today, so I want to do an update on my Tactical 22 LR collection. Brand new rifles to this collection. There's been a couple of upgrades that I've made on some of these since then. I want to answer the question of why do I own so many 22 LR rifles? America! Talk about whether the 22 LR is a good round for self defense or not. Your service to our country. And also grab me a box of Perfecta 45. Alright, these are the 40 grain mini mags kind of starts to hurt but of course it shot newest farm that I picked up so I got a Taurus M627 tracker 350 so just do a quick unboxing here and it's pretty pretty simple packaging not much to it hey guys what's up it's me coming from GNA today so here's my newest little pistol that I picked up got the Ruger LCP 2 pick this up from the B there the guy planning So I want to talk a little bit more about my H&R XL Auto 12 gauge semi-auto that I picked up. Again, this is the second gen because it has this smooth... You got lean. Come some more in, Kobe. I just have flies around here, and there's just no way around that. So try to keep as much. I had a couple months ago, I was thinking about getting it thin. I thought, well, nah, I'm gonna pass on that. So we got. There are some minor cosmetic differences, and so we're gonna talk about that. Then we're gonna get into some of the.